Hello, boys and girls, my name is HotzoC and welcome back to another day in Minecraft here at our Tunnel Bore project. And last time we managed to get the blocks all on the same level. And today I think we shall see how we can get the blocks out of here and my thinking is we move them around in a circle like that and then have them come out here and then we can move them off in that direction the only question that i have at this point is here on this side because we have some some slime blocks there so that could be uh, an an issue um, with the uh, conveyor belt moving the blocks sticking to the slime blocks there respectively the slime blocks when they move up and down um, sticking to the conveyor belt which would be uh, sitting uh, here behind which would not be that great so one thing that came to my mind to basically get rid of uh, these blocks here is what if we have also only a uh, double piston extend on this side but first we push the blocks up from below that should simplify the whole thing considerably so let's try to do that first uh, that would also get rid of this contraption here with this new approach, we are much more compact and simple. The only thing I had to consider here is that I cannot push the blocks directly because the pistons would be uh, powered at inopportune times. But we can push, uh, use sticky pistons that push a block that push the block above. And then, of course, the yellow blocks there, they would be retracted. And we have that thing powered here from behind with the appropriate delay. So that brings then basically all the blocks up here. And we can think about how do we get them all lined up in one line. And the standard setup for that is uh, this one. So if we press this button, you can see this works uh, as expected. However, the blocks are pushed here at the bottom and we have one row above here and that's not how this works because the the block sits directly here under uh, the piston so i tried different things turning uh, the whole thing upside down and this is a somewhat working setup but it is not tileable. So that got me uh, thinking maybe we have oversought the whole problem because we want to get the blocks off the slime blocks here in the middle. But then it does not really matter if the blocks are sitting here or if we are pushing them around and uh, uh, do 
uh, whatever we want to do. Important thing is only that when the, the, the bore comes back with new blocks that this is empty. So basically we could do the same thing as here and just push them up, push them up, push them up until we are far enough up here and then we basically would not need all this, this uh, construction here on top and we have basically the room to move the blocks around with this setup. I have not tried this, but that seems a more promising idea uh, than trying to figure out how to get a, a block belt uh, with the piston on top that is only two blocks high and it does not trigger any of the, of the uh, other logic here. And this is how it looks when all comes together. However, it's not working as expected. As you can see, yeah, we're pushing the blocks out there and uh, that basically uh, pushes or destroys the machine on the, on the second side. There is, however, a slight change that we should be able to do um, if we replace these blocks with uh, sticky pistons facing the uh, other way. We should be able to pull the blocks Somehow, that might be a timing issue. Because we are left one block behind there. And I need to figure that out. But then with the pull system, um, we basically get the option that um, the last block is then pushed out in uh, in this direction. So we could have a setup where we are pulling along the long sides and then just pushing the things over the, the small side here. And then we would either have an the exit of the of the stream uh, on this side or on this side. So I will have to first figure out how this works with the with the pulling, and then we can replace this setup up here with the uh, appropriate solution. I have figured out how to do the pulling setup and uh, I was on the right track. It was only here the input signal that does not work on a simple uh, button push, but needs to be a bit more uh, uh, elaborated. But as you can see, this now works, pushes out the blocks there. So I thought, yeah. We have it, but then with, with this setup, basically on the second side, we are pushing the blocks out. So eventually we would push these blocks over, right? Um, but then we would have more blocks sitting here and that would be a problem because uh, we need the space there. Uh, to, to push them. So maybe the, the, the thing to do here is um, push these uh, outward um, 
on two sides, combine two sides, uh, and then combine those two streams uh, again uh, into two sides. And I'm not quite sure about the correct layout, uh, if we should use a push or pull for that. Um, I mean, we need, we then don't need this slice here, but if we would push out here on this side, this would be in the way. So we would probably need to uh, pull on, on this side. So that's probably I have something I have to uh, uh, figure out and I will do that until the next episode. So looks like we will still spend a bit of time here in this world until we figure everything out that needs figuring out. All right, until then, goodbye.